Hello out there all you geographers and welcome to another how-to video. In this video I'll be explaining how to set up a report in geography on Microsoft Word. Where am I getting this information from? I'm getting it straight from the good stuff, QCAA. Uh, for example, their IA2 example assessment task. If you scroll down to scaffolding, this is the scaffold we're going to follow to set up our reports. So that's where I'm getting this information from. So let's begin. So to start off, the first thing you're going to do is a title page. So what we're going to do before we do our table of contents is skip down to the second page. All right. The next thing we're going to do is under the references tab, so you'll have to click on that, click table of contents, and then you can do automatic table one. Okay, so for that to actually work, we need to insert some headings. So I'm going to click on Home, and I'll show you the headings you need to insert for your report in Geography. Alright, so the first one you need to do is the introduction. So I'm going to click on this um, style here called Heading 1, and I'm going to call it 1.0 Introduction. And then when I press Enter down to the next line, I need to click on Normal again. So it's really important that you do that for later in setting up your report. Next is the methodology. So I'm going to click on heading one again. I'm going to go 2.0 methodology. Now in your methodology generally, depending on your assessment task, you're going to have a couple of things. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on heading two because I don't want the same as heading one. So for instance, you might have to collect some different sources. So that would be heading 2.1. And then under that, I'm going to go back to normal. Press enter again. I'm going to go back to heading 2.0 and then normally what you do in a geography report is your limitations of your report. So those are often the two headings you'll have for a methodology. So what we're doing really is creating your scaffold for your geography report. The next thing you need to have is the body or the findings of your report. Now depending on your task sheet that will depend on what that's called. I'm going to go down to normal again. I'm going to go down, enter, heading two. And depending on what your report is going to be about, these subheadings are going to have different names. I'm also going to have to call that 3.0. Okay, so this heading here is going to be 3.1. You might have to do one on population. So that's heading 3.1. Press enter, go back to normal. Then I'm going to press enter again. For my second subheading, you might have, say, one on gross domestic product. I'm going to have to call that 3.2, of course. So you'll have various headings under that one. So you might have another couple more, so to say. All right, so going down, remembering always to click on normal. The next area you're going to have is your conclusion. So I'm going to go back to heading one. I'm going to go 4.0 conclusion. So you might have different types of uh, areas for your conclusion. So for instance, in a lot of geography reports, so I'm on normal, go down again to heading two, you're gonna have your actual conclusion, and then enter, go back to normal, enter again, go back down to heading two. You're often gonna have a proposal or a recommendation. So often you'll have those two headings in a conclusion. Next, going back to heading one, 5.0 are your references. Back to normal, going down again. And then the last part for ge uh, report and geography, you have your appendices. So that's my, uh, maybe where you put in some tables of raw field work you've collected, for example. All right, so those are the different headings you need. Now, how this ties back into your table of contents is this. So if I click on here and I go update table, it'll automatically fill in that table of contents with page numbers for me. So for instance, if I move, say, my introduction down, I might want to start with one of these on each new page, which I would recommend you to do as you're building your report. Those two might fit on the same page, so I'll do that. Definitely not for the body. Inclusion and references definitely has to go on the top of a new page. Same with appendices. 
it's really important that as you're spacing these out, as you're making your own scaffold for your report, you're going normal in between those headings. Okay. Now, if I go back up to here, so I've say updated my report, I click on update table again, and then you click date update entire table, and you'll see all those page numbers change. So one of the last things you should do before submitting your report is certainly that update table, update entire table. Um, really important now, the next thing you need to do as well, you'll see a lot of those headings were in blue. Um, just so everything's nice and organized, we're gonna change that all to the same font and the same color. So it's often better to do Arial and then make sure it's all in black as well, just to make it nice and neat. All right guys, so that is a very quick video on how to set up a report in geography. Good luck with your assessment tasks and I'll see you next time.